the book of Joshua chapter 5 and I read verse 6. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would show them the land, which the Lord swore unto their fathers that he would give us a land that floweth with milk and honey. This is one of the tragic lessons, tra tragic stories in the Bible. God promised the pe his people, the people of Israel, that we take them to a promised land, that we take them to a land flowing with milk and honey. But you know, very few of them enter that land. And the reason was that they did not hear the voice of the Lord. They disobeyed God. I rebuke every spirit of disobedience from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever God has asked you to do, and you have refused to do it, go and do it today. For 40 years, they were parabonating in the wilderness. I command every wilderness experience that you have been experienced because of disobedience. I command those wilderness experience to terminate today in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says they, they refused to hear the voice of the Lord, and God gave them over to, to their enemies. Mercy will speak for you today. Perhaps we have not been hearing the voice of the Lord. Perhaps you have been disobedient to God. You have been dis disobedient to God. Mercy will bring you back today in Jesus' mighty name. Now, disobedience brings calamities. Disobedience, rebellion to the word of God. That is what causes calamities. They spent 40 years in the wilderness. In the wilderness. You can imagine how the wilderness is. They were walking aimlessly. They, are, they were walking in confusion. They were walking without direction, just because of disobedience, just because they refused to hear the voice of the Lord. I terminate every wilderness experience in your marriage. I terminate every wilderness experience with your businesses. I terminate every wilderness experience with your professional career. I terminate every wilderness experience with your academic career. Perhaps you have been, you have just been suffering wilderness. Today, God is calling you to repent. As you come back to God, the power of God, the Spirit of God will terminate every wilderness experience in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Wilderness is not a good place. It's a, it's, it's, they, were so, they were supposed to be in the land of promise, a land flowing with milk and honey, but they spent 40 years in the wilderness just because of disobedience. Today, decide to obey God. Decide to follow God. Decide to, to listen and hearken to the voice of God. And as you do that, God will bring you out of the wilderness experience we have been, we have, we have been experiencing. And He will bring you to the promised land. He will bring you to comfort. He will bring you to abundance. He will bring you to profits. He will bring you to nursery. He will bring you to, to pleasure. And He will bring you to the land that is flowing with milk and honey. The land of milk and honey is better than the land of wilderness. Your wilderness experience is terminated today because of your obedience, because of your of your repentance. And today, mercy shall speak to you, and you shall start to obey the voice of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.